Donald Trump plans to resist calls to divest, report President-elect Donald Trump is reportedly planning to keep a stake in his businesses when he takes office. According to a report Thursday in the New York Times, Trump is expected to hand over the day-to-day -day operations of his real estate empire to his sons, Don Jr. and Eric, while his daughter, Ivanka, will take on a significant role advising her father and take a leave of absence from the Trump Organization, the report said. All three children are currently executive vice presidents of the Trump Organization. The New York Times report said Trump was exploring a legal structure that would separate him and Ivanka from the company but that Trump would keep his stake in his business and resist calls to divest. Ivanka was said to be moving to install a president to run her apparel and licensing brands in her absence. Trump is expected to discuss his plans during a news conference next week. Last month, Trump said it was visually important as president to in no way have a conflict of interest with my various businesses. In theory, I could run my business perfectly and then run the country perfectly. There's never been a case like this, he told the Times in a wide-ranging interview in November. I'd assumed that you'd have to set up some type of trust or whatever, I don't have to do anything. But I would like to do something. A Bloomberg poll released Wednesday suggested that Americans are willing to give Trump wide leeway in handling his potential business conflicts. 51% of respondents said they thought Trump would put the interests of the country ahead of his finances when acting as president, while 69% said that Trump selling his businesses to disentangle himself from potential conflicts of interest goes too far, while there is no law that would force Trump to separate himself from his business interests. Advocates, including the Office of Government Ethics, have urged the president-elect to fully divest himself from his companies and place his assets in a blind trust, meaning that neither he nor any members of his family would have knowledge of or control over his investments as long as he is in office. Read. What Donald Trump's election could mean for women presidents are exempt from the federal law that bars other executive branch employees from using their offices to enrich themselves. Although Trump's foreign holdings could run afoul of a constitutional clause that prohibits the president from accepting foreign gifts, experts say leaving his adult children in charge of his company even if he separates himself from its operations, does little to assuage ethics concerns. Obviously the children are very close to their father and would probably run some business activities by President-elect Trump or President Trump, Scott Amy. General counsel for the nonpartisan project on government oversight told U.S. News. Labor disputes, environmental disputes or other issues related to Trump business activities. It raises ethics concerns for appointing people to different agencies.